I know you've probably heard it many times that if you have hypothyroidism, you will start to gain weight. Losing weight is going to be very difficult. Well, here is what I have to say. Uh -uh. Does not have to be your reality. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you three strategies that I use myself and give my clients in order to shift that excess weight and keep lean and healthy year in and year out if you have hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's and other hormonal imbalances. Let's get started. Hey, hey, you let Tabith here and together with my husband, Paul Tabith, we are certified holistic nutritionists at rossomhealthy.com, helping you create healthy hormones, healthy weight and the body of your dreams naturally. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Great to see you. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos that we release regularly to help you optimize your hormones, weight and your health naturally. I got diagnosed with hypothyroidism in my early 20s, so I know what it's like to be dealing with it, to be going from doctor to doctor, medication to medication, to be searching for alternative diets and alternative solutions and alternative approaches, but sometimes not experiencing the results that you want to see. So in today's video, I want to share with you three proven strategies that can help you optimize the health of your hormones. So these are the strategies that I've used myself over the years to stay lean and energetic year in and year out and these are the strategies that some of our clients like mary used in order to release nearly 20 pounds in 60 days without any dieting at all so the first strategy is own that woman within you and there are two choices that you can make a you either own your health and your body and your life and your energy and your fitness you own it and you accept responsibility that comes with it you accept the investment of time and resources that comes with it or you don't in either way either choices you make there are consequences and in my world it's way easier to own what you want to manifest in life and accept and embrace and to really build yourself inside out and to build your health and to build your body and to build your mind to be embracing that true woman you are here to be that empowered that leader that high achiever that you are or can be or you escape it and you don't and then you live with the consequences of living in that guilt and shame and those endless issues that keep on developing so my question to you is which choice are you making for yourself and once you made that choice you stick to it you stick to it because if you understand that hypothyroidism comes with a lot of symptoms and it's not a straightforward condition and there are a lot of underlying causes like Hashimoto's and gut health and liver health and adrenal health and your weight and blood sugar imbalances that you'll need to, cor to correct, you embrace it and you are not looking back, you're looking forward and you're creating the plan that's going to help you win and this is what you are doing. And if you're choosing to embrace that woman within you, we want to help you and we've created the special free weight loss formula that will outline strategies and recipes to help you achieve beautiful body completely naturally. So the link is in the description section. Go and grab yourself a free copy and start using it in your day to day life. OK, the second strategy, there's a big myth out there and that's the myth that you will definitely need to avoid following and that is you have to restrict your carbohydrates so if you need to lose weight if you've got hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism usually also comes with blood sugar imbalances and gut health issues and so many other challenges you need to avoid carbohydrates you need to go on a low carb diet well that ain't gonna work because the moment you are restricting your carbohydrates and especially if you are going on a keto diet or you're severely restricting your carbohydrates your active t3 hormone is going to drop and that has already been scientifically proven so in order for you to feel energetic in order to be able to exercise and move your body and achieve that healthy weight you need energy and t3 is something that helps you experience that energy if it drops then you will feel very weak you will start developing all the hypothyroidism symptoms you will not be able to move your body and your libido will disappear and you will start struggling with your memory and you will start experiencing hair loss and you will start gaining more weight 
because you are not moving, you are not active. So make friends with carbohydrates. And let me know in the comment section, have you heard that, oh, you know what, you need to exclude carbs, fruits, and you need to go with low glycemic fruit. Let me know in the comment section if you've heard it and has it worked for you. So make friends with carbohydrates. Personally, I have been following a high carbohydrate, low fat diet for the last 13 plus years. So 13 plus years. And we've helped thousands of females just like you are looking to balance their hormones, optimize their hormones naturally by eating more healthy whole food carbohydrates. Make friends with fruits. So your breakfast can be a fruit only meal. You can have one to three fruits. You can mix fruit into a smoothie. You can add green leafy vegetables. You can add some chia seeds for omega-3, but you need to be making friends with fruits. So your breakfast is going to be a fruit-based meal. Your lunch can be, again, a big smoothie, a fruit meal, and a salad after that. So you are consuming carbohydrates and you're consuming carbohydrates from healthy whole food sources instead of junk carbohydrates and you're not excluding or restricting your carbohydrates and the third strategy is making friends with plant foods we've talked about fruit already and more carbohydrates and now we need to talk about making friends with plant foods now animal foods are very high in fats they're difficult to digest they cause inflammation in your body if you've got hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's and other issues you don't want to be causing inflammation in your body you want to be restoring inflammation and this is why you need plant foods. So animal foods can go out of your diet completely. You can switch to plant foods. And we've done it over 13 years ago and we've helped endless clients switch to this lifestyle plan. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna start cleansing your body. It's gonna start removing those excess hormones in your body, like excess estrogen. It's gonna start balancing your liver. It's gonna start balancing your gut, feeding your gut with friendly bacteria and it will also supply you with volume of food yes so if you are wanting to lose weight the best plan for you to achieve it is going to be to stick to foods that are lower in calories but higher in volume so you can imagine if you have a big salad if you have a big fruit meal you've eaten a lot of volume but you have not eaten that many calories so you've eaten fewer calories if compared to the diet that you are following already. And when you create that's eating more volume and fewer calories, that slight calorie deficit, if compared to your previous diet, so you're not restricting, you're not limiting your calories, you're not limiting your carbohydrates, but instead you're just naturally eating more food that is high in water and low in calories. So you're feeling good, you're feeling satiated, but you are eating fewer calories. So that can start creating weight loss completely naturally without even you going to the gym uh, three to five times a week. And I'm not saying it's not a bad idea. It's awesome to go to the gym and build your body. But at the same time, you can start achieving weight loss by just changing your diet and switching to a diet where you're eating abundance of easy to digest, hormone balancing, inflammation reversing, health building, long-term health building foods that can literally create that lean and glowing body that you are probably after. And by the way, eating a high carbohydrate, low fat diet does not mean that you're not gonna be eating your fats. So of course, eat your Brazil nuts for selenium. Of course, eat your chia seeds for omega-3. Include healthy sources of plant fats into your diet and see how your body is transforming in a whole new way. And if you feel that your time has come, now is the time where you are reclaiming your health, rebuilding your hormones, and you're committing to yourself and this new lifestyle plan, then let's jump on a free 15-minute health accelerator call where we will look at your health challenges, we'll look at your plan and suggest the best plan forward and how we can work together to help you achieve the results that you're looking for. So the link for that is rosamhealthy.com forward slash schedule. So go and grab yourself a spot if you are looking to work with a mentor. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. What do you think about all this? What do you think about rebuilding your health with the help of a high carbohydrate and plant foods lifestyle? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video, feel free to like it and share it with other women who can benefit from this information. And since I've mentioned our client Mary, who lost nearly 20 pounds within eight weeks eating 
this kind of lifestyle and who was able to also rebalance her hormonal challenges and reverse inflammation and achieve incredible results in a short space of time. I'm going to link this video to Mary's transformational video where you can see what's possible for other people and you as well. See you there.